Zorn. This is the Owl of the Gladiators. for the fastest movie hour on national television as the heats continue. Please welcome Tornado, Glacier and Taipan. Blade, Condor, Delta and Vulcan. Commando, Fury, Hammer. Flame, Tower and the Tempestuous Storm. Tonight, our gladiator champions will put four more challenges to the test of their lives. And here to host the games are Kimberly Joseph and Mike Hammond. Hello, and welcome to Gladiators. It's another chance tonight to meet our heroes and to put four more challenges through the mill. Well, you know, Mike, sometimes we get so carried away with the excitement here at Gladiators that we forget how hard it is for the challenges to get this far. Well, firstly, there is the challenger selection process. Now, that fitness test that they go through is the most gruelling fitness test that I've ever seen. And, of course, they have to be able to get through that just to survive here on the show. And, of course, then there's the challenger training program. And finally, the Challenger Selection, which selects the Elite 32. And that's before they've even met their first gladiator. There is no doubt these guys have been through a lot to get here tonight, so let's get them out here and not make them wait any longer. Our first challenges tonight are Lisa Sharp and Debbie Santic. Lisa is a state gymnastic and bodybuilding champion. She lists rock climbing, snow skiing and off-road driving amongst her interests. Debbie is an acrobat, dancer and stunt woman. She's a national gymnast and her main interest, she says, is her daughter Natasha. Let's welcome Lisa and Debbie. Lisa, welcome to Gladiators. Now tell me, bodybuilding and gymnastics, do they complement or conflict with each other? Um, I think they tend to complement one another, Kimberly, because you have to, um, it's, it's good to have the gymnastics to help you with your routine in the body shaping. So you're quite an all-rounder? I try to be, yeah. Now, you've also snow skied, and uh, what else have you done? Uh, water ski, um, I play basketball a lot, um, love running, cycling, any sort of sports, mainly water sports. And you also rock climb? Uh, yes, I do do a bit of rock climbing as well, probably try to do that at least once a week. So it's unfortunate that you don't have the wall to compete on tonight. Oh, that, that's the luck of the draw, I think. <laughs> well done, and uh, good luck tonight. Thank you, Kimberly. Now, Debbie, you're a dancer, an acrobat, and... And a stunt woman, Mike. How do you become a stunt woman? Well, I started about a year ago. You go through a pretty heavy grading procedure before you even get on set, which goes through different categories of body control, skill, but it's all worth it in the end. It's kind of like trying to get on gladiators, I guess. Indeed. <laughs> Has any unusual things happened to you in that unusual career of dancing or being a stunt woman? Um, lots of unusual things happen. The most unexpected thing is when your wig falls off on stage and you're left with that beautiful wig cap on <laughs> underneath. And... So you got your real hair on tonight. We're not going to see you walking around here bald. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> and, and of course, you've got a young family too. You better say hello to them. Hi, John. Hi, Natasha. Okay. There it is. Good luck tonight. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, our female challengers tonight, Debbie and Lisa. And now let's meet our male challengers, Daniel DiPaolo and James Lenahan. Daniel is a dad and a former bodyguard. He runs a construction company and is into karate, Josu Kai and Harleys. James is a model. He's also a natural bodybuilder and a first grade rugby union player. And he's just got engaged. Ladies and gentlemen, Daniel and James. Hey, Daniel. Good, mate. Now, you've, uh, you've done work as a bodyguard. That's an unusual line of work, too. I was a part-time job I did many years ago, Mike, while I was at university. And, and you're into martial arts, too. Now, I've written it down here. Joe Sukai is it's a bit different to normal karate. Is that right? Uh, it's very much like all karate. It's originating from Japan, but it's very traditional and very disciplined. So from that martial art, obviously, you get that discipline and that strength, which you think is going to stand you in good stead tonight? I hope so, anyway. We're hoping that's one of your strengths. And you've got a new baby son, too. That's right. I've got a little boy of nine weeks old, and his name's Jordan. 
and uh, I'd like to say hello to my little son and my wife, Sheila. All right, Daniel, all the best tonight, mate. Good luck. James, welcome to the show. Now, first of all, tell us about your bodybuilding achievements. I competed in a competition last year in Sydney called uh, the Western Suburbs title and I uh, came first place in the novice division. So. Fantastic. So do you see a future in bodybuilding? No, I just wanted to give it a go. A lot of friends said to me give it a go, so I've come first and that'll, that'll do for now. Well, it's a great achievement in itself. Now, what about rugby union? I was playing uh, first grade Gordon Colts uh, four years ago and I've just come back from a knee reconstruction, so I've played the last two years for Brothers Club in Sydney. And you're here on Gladiators. Well, I think that deserves a round of applause in itself. Well done. Now, uh, one other thing. You're in a very enviable position at the moment. Tell us why. Uh, I am Delta's fiance. So, guys, keep your eyes off. Well, good luck to you tonight, James. Thank you. All right, let's hear it for James and Daniel. Well, with James and Daniel, we've now met our male challengers. The female challengers, of course, are on the floor. One more person to meet, our referee, Mike Whitney. Hi, Mike. Michael. Thank you, Matt. How are you hello, doing? Hello, hello. Very well, thank you. Now, tell me, it's quite interesting because I've noticed a tremendous team spirit between these challengers, and that's unusual because they're vying for the same prizes. Yes, that's right. These people have been training together and living together, and, and I think they really do respect each other as true sports people. And when they're going for the same goals, that tends to unite them more than divide them, really. And there's that, and also the fact that they're up against our gladiators. Yeah, but I guess at the end, we have to remind them that it's challenger against challenger That's when right. it gets down to the eliminator. Yep. Okay, well, I think we agree it's going to be a fine challenge tonight. So let the games begin.